welcome back so finally there is a vlog i mean i know it has been a while since i've uploaded any theme um but i do apologize um just basically sometimes life gets in the way if that makes any sense um but either way i just finished filming a get ready with me video which if you guys are watching this it means that the video already has gone live so obviously i'm gonna link it right now on the screen for you and as you can see i actually cut my hair off which i'm so happy with it um I don't know, I think just just was on the air for me to do something different and I really am feeling it. Like I think I'm gonna keep the short hair for a while. Um, it's just so easy and I feel like it just took like some years off me, which is kind of great. Um, so yes, yeah, so you guys are gonna see actually a weekly vlog. Um, so I just finished um, filming this. Uh, I have to get out of the house for a while, but tomorrow I'm off. And then on Sunday is actually my anniversary dinner, which I think I'm gonna take you guys with us, if that makes any sense. Um, so really looking forward to it. And yes, I know that I haven't uploaded as much videos as I wanted to, um, but also I feel like I really wanna create great content. Um, so I'm taking my time off just to really create um, videos that I'm proud of, that I really have put my heart on it, just so I don't put videos just for the purpose to add them into my channel, if that makes any sense. So, um, yes, so I, that's why I really hope you like this Get Ready With Me video. Um, but yeah, so I just received some things in the mail. So let me show you. Okay, so basically what I got from Macy's uh, were two stuff. This wasn't on the Black Friday sale. Um, it was actually a lipstick from Chanel. This one is one of their Rouge Alder Velvet lipsticks. And I believe it's in the shade 62 Libre. Um, I think what I kind of found really interesting is the way that they open it's like you push them up and then the lipstick comes off um and i kind of love this shade for this some of you i think well to be honest this is to me like an everyday shade but yes it's like this mauvey pink which i found just really suitable um for my skin tone i'm trying to make it focus there we go and it's really pretty and i also love the fact that it has such chanel on it but yeah got that and then um, the other thing was now this was on the Black Friday sale and it was actually a new pair of makeup brushes. I mean, I was gonna, I needed basically just a fan brush, but I believe the Anastasia one, which was the one that I was gonna buy is $24. Whether this completely set was 25, so of course, and I was getting four more brushes. So these ones are from Smashbox, which I actually love um where it comes in like this little pouch which i think is really cute and then i believe the brushes they have like a buffing brush which i believe is this one and then obviously the fan which is the one that i wanted and then it has like some small little like um eyeshadow brushes so yeah i think the packaging is really cute never tried a smashbox brush but again i love their product so i'm sure that i can uh that i will get like really into them so now um oh i also got a pair of levi's if you guys follow me on instagram i think you might have seen me put the, putting these ones on it's just another new pair of 501s um because the other ones that i own they're completely stretched out i needed a new pair so i got that again like full price there was no discount code or anything and then oh i got this yesterday actually i this sunday is my anniversary dinner uh me and my husband have 10 years together which is really amazing so i got a new dress and it has like this snake snake <laughs> for me it's so hard to say snake print um it's a midi one i want to put it on so you guys can see how it looks but i have like mixed opinions about it but i don't know i just really love the print though okay so this is the dress um like i mentioned you guys before is from sarah now what i really love about it is obviously the print it's just snake print but as you can see it has a really low cleavage i mean i love a cleavage but sometimes i don't know just i think when you have boobs you think it's so much but because this one is a midi as you can see um i feel like it does need a cleavage so it doesn't look like too formal i wish it would have had like a slip um and i think it would make it better but nonetheless i really love the style i think i'm gonna wear it with my ray lace-up sandals um but i really 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 love the print i feel like it looks great with my skin and uh i love me a long sleeve um dress as well and i think material is like stretchy one so definitely sucks you in and i think this one is small so i don't know it's different but i really love it so i don't know i think it's really sexy and but also i feel like it looks like 
like cheek in a way i think that's why i like it but yeah. okay by the way i just received this to the mail um i believe it was black friday um kylie cosmetic had i think a 50 percent off on a lot of their stuff if you remember i told you that i needed two lip liners of course so basically i repurchased dirty peach which is this gorgeous almost like corally one and then the newest one that i got is this one which is in the shade coconut and it's almost like this brownie it, lo it really looks really similar to nice and spicy from mac which i also own but yep cannot wait to try it i don't know why but i like more their lip liners than their lipsticks so i believe they cost me 750 each um although with the chip in which it was eight dollars um i think i paid almost like eleven dollars each which i still save almost like five five or four dollars um for each of the lip liners so it's fine um but then can i just make the mention that their boxes are really similar to the glossier one so i think they were kind of inspired by them but um looks really cute but yep obviously i will try the coconut later on welcome to vlogmas i don't know if today is day five or six um <clears throat> sorry about my throat um okay let me just give you the rundown um i spent this past three days in my home just laying on the sofa next to my dog um it's something that i haven't told because i'm really private about everything um so let me just tell you very uh, quick what has happened. Um, I think almost a month and a half ago, we took my dog to the vet um, and uh, he started to get these tumors. Um, by the way, my dog is 14 years old and he's a golden retriever, which he's the light of my eyes. And uh, we took him just to remove one of those tumors. They did. We were, we were very worried because he's old so of course you know just putting him to sleep and all those steps is really hard because we were really worried about it either way everything went well but then we started to notice that another tumor was appearing so what we did is we took him back and the vet told us that there's nothing else that she can do because he has skin cancer which he's gonna eventually start to get more and more like she just told us you know we cannot keep cutting and removing because he won't endure it so she both she basically told us like you know take him home take care of him and that was it um so of course these little tumors are starting to appear more and more but my husband and i were really dealing with it and he still has that joy in him that's why we still keep him um so these past few days i was giving him um tylenol just so he can sleep better because by night he starts to bark a little bit i don't know if it is because of that but i feel like maybe he has a bit of discomfort so just to make him sleep so what ended up happening i don't know why um i think that was thursday he woke up and started to vomit it he started to vomit i'm sorry I'm, i mean i naturally speak spanish that's why sometimes i make mistakes when i speak and um basically he spent all that day just vomiting everything um i was starting to get worried then and by that was thursday by friday morning he was really weak he didn't want to eat he didn't want to do anything so you know we're thinking about like well maybe this is it you know this has happened he had a reaction to the pills but he was not himself so of course as any dog parents you know that you want the best for your dog so you're starting to think like if this is the time like do we have to i do get really emotional because i'm really attached to him so i called my work i wasn't gonna go to work i just i just we were dealing with it but then my husband was like let's give him a day just to see 
because the thing it is we have had dogs before and I think for someone who has them knows when you really feel in your gut that this is the time so of course we both knew that you know he didn't have that look he just was weak so obviously he he had his stomach completely empty so my husband said with him and he made him eat just a bit so he gets motivated and then eventually by the by the day we cook a mistake he ate it completely um so we started to see him like getting into it um long story short today he woke up um he had breakfast we're just giving him meat i mean i am gonna buy veggies and everything um but he really doesn't want to eat like dog food so we're really giving him just basically just his natural food so just he gets more strength um he's walking he's starting to become him i mean don't get me wrong he still is weak but he's feeling a lot better which i'm so happy uh because my husband has this huge heart and i know that if it wasn't for him we probably would have failed like make a mistake still because i know that he still has time with us left so yes it has been really hard i haven't slept well i haven't eat well because i just really gets into me so that's what's happening so it's, it sucks because i was beginning vlogmas and then this happened so of course it's just like things just just are not lining up well but this is life um and that's the thing with vlogs i mean it's when you see people being on it so either way yeah so i finally decided to leave the house because i just needed to plus obviously i need to buy groceries and we need to buy steaks and veggies for him and all that stuff so either way i just decided maybe to go to the mall do a few things here and there just you guys obviously are coming with me so i do apologize because i had a range of videos and i have a lot of things planned but of course this week just everything went on down the hill for me so but then again i do know my priorities and which is my family and my dog is my family so of course he's he comes first so we'll see how this goes either way i just don't want <laughs> to press anything with my story so yeah but i just wanted to be honest so yeah so i just just did a ponytail by the way i haven't had a pimple so long and i feel like i really get pimples from stress so check out that guy over there he's just like really coming into his element like there's no blush that can hide that and i don't like to put foundation in it because i feel like i make it worse but yes so i just basically became very simple i'm gonna try to find a mirror so i can do like a full outfit of the day even though that i always do like like shoe fees when i walk but just to make it sure so yes and oh and i also when i show you these necklaces they're very pretty i got them from this brand well they sent it to me um they're called net romans um they contacted me via instagram so i'm gonna put their shop below they had really cute stuff and this one is the apollo necklace i think someone asked me on my instagram if it is two separate no it is a whole set so it is two becoming one but i kind of love that you can pile them up or down so you can play with dimensions but i think they're really pretty i don't know if i've mentioned them before but yes i'm wearing them with my um sara turtleneck and then i'm wearing my levi's 501 jeans my sara sneakers and i'm also wearing my sara uh straw bag yes basically all sara so just time to put my sunnies and yes let's do those um how do you call them like walking montage but i need a bit of coffee and just something to eat so yes so let's go yet what i'm going to do but either way i'm just sitting at the sofa just open this glossier package which actually i mean it isn't nothing major i just repurchased my milky jelly cleanser because if you guys know i live by this stuff um but i'm so mad though that i forgot to check out the generation g lipsticks i don't know if they have or a new formula or they change out the packaging but either way i'll try to purchase them the next time that i buy glossier just to test them out because to be honest I just was picking this and nothing more um also i do apologize that i forget to vlog my anniversary dinner i don't know just when i got there even though that i got my camera i just didn't have 
like the mood to record it I don't know I really want it to just be about us so yeah sometimes it's not bad to overshare either way we went eat seafood we drink a lot of white wine and by the end we had chocolate cake which was perfect um, but yeah that was basically all so I think I'm gonna cut the vlog here again I do apologize for this week as you guys already know and um, there were three days that were completely off so I hope that this week we'll have more stuff and definitely will be a little bit more interactive and definitely more things to see but yeah guys i hope you like it um again i feel like honesty is what blogs are supposed to be and this is true life so yeah so i'll see you next week with vlogmas numero dos bye